Yo, what is up, YouTube men? Season 7 of NBA 2K24 has arrived. With it came a lot of Jordan Poole animations. I tested out everything, and I'm going to let you guys know my opinion about it all. Now, the scoring moves, the dribble pull-up, the hop jumper, the jump shot, all terrible, not worth trying, you know, nothing good to say about them. Now, the one animation I could not test was the layup. The Jordan Pool layup, my build did not have high enough layup to get it. It is the circus layup from previous 2Ks, and I've seen some people use it. It is one of the best layups for small guards. You only need an 82 driving layup to get it. I know a lot of people have been wanting the circus layup to return. It has, it is the Jordan Pool layup style. Now, as you guys can see, I have a lot of dribble pull animations on every single new Jordan pull dribble animation they added. I threw on my player. I could have made a video talking about every single one of these dribble moves individually. I decided I was just going to make one big video using all of them because these moves combo together very well. You can use the Jordan pull signature size up to go into a regular breakdown combo that goes into an aggressive breakdown combo. While you're dribbling, you can also use the Jordan pull crossover. That's kind of very slidey it gets you past your defender very well and if you're somebody that is more of an old school dribble guy do you like to do the stand in place dribbling that we saw more in 2k17 2k18 you may really like these animations the best dribble moves in nba 2k24 are all about creating a bunch of space as you know i do the hot back right there you got the jamal murray behind the back whenever you search a video people are showing you how they create space with the dribble moves that is not really what the jordan pull dribble moves do as you guys can see i'm being very shifty in place he's stunned he's watching me i'm just using the crossover last second to get past him now i'm doing the 1v1 to show these off and this is the 12 second shot clock event so i don't have all the time in the world to really you know dribble for 20 seconds as i miss the wide open dribble pull up right here you know first game of the day warm up shot but having more time on the shot clock would definitely be more ideal because this really isn't about creating space on the defender it's more about sizing up the defender seeing how he's going to react and making my move based on that. Now, this type of dribbling is a lot of fun. There is some negatives, though. Everyone has high steel in NBA 2K24, so people will be reaching. But, I mean, check this out right here. I am moving and grooving on this man. And I still got that Jamal Murray behind the back, so I can dribble up. I can have a bit of fun. And I still have some moves to go to that can get me some space if needed. Now, right here, I'm just trolling a bit. Obviously, I could have shot the shot, but I'm trying to show off these dribble moves you can see right there. He doesn't move a muscle. I'm looking shifty. I get past him for the dunk. You're never going to hit any of these Jordan Poole animations and get yourself wide open because of it except for the crossover the crossover is the exception you can definitely use that to get past your defender but the you know aggressive breakdown combo the regular breakdown combo the combo moves they're not really going to do too much to get you space so like i said man you're not really looking for that when it comes to these dribble moves what you're looking to do is have some fun now, the best game mode to use these dribble moves is 100% going to be ones. I would not recommend going to solo rec, you know, playing threes with randoms and trying to dribble like this because they're going to get upset. They're going to want the ball pass, you know, sooner than later. Nobody's trying to watch you dribble, but man, look at this. It's something different to see. Nowadays, it's more about learning how to L2 cancel, being able to go left, right, left, right, hit the Jamal Murray behind the back, hit the Kimba escape. We've just been seeing the meta dribble moves all year. Everyone's ready for 2K25 to see the new style of dribbling, you know, to get some new metas because people are tired of seeing what we've been seeing all year. These Jordan Poole dribble moves, as you guys see right here, they're clean. They're nice. They're fun to use. Really good for the ones. Not meta, you know, you don't really get too much space off them, as I've already said in the video. But, you know, if you're playing some ones, if you want to be a bit more of a dribble god looking player, definitely test these out. Let me know what you guys think about the Season 7 animations. Is there anything that I said was trash that maybe you guys don't agree with? Maybe you guys like the Jordan pull dribble pull up. Maybe you guys like the hop jumper. The jump shot, I'm telling you, man, that thing is too slow. I tried to make a custom able to make it work, and I could not find any way. But if you found something, you know, you found some kind of custom Jordan pull jump shot you like and you want to put it in the comments, you can definitely do that. If you guys did enjoy the video, if you do want to drop a like and subscribe, of course, I do appreciate it a ton. And this is Donic Man. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'll let you guys see the last bit of this gameplay. I'm out. Peace.